And to Anna Kate's point, there also we develop a lot of times we develop those food sensitivities because we eat the same foods over and over and over mm -hmm. again. We're such creatures of habit. So yes, take out like the big, big, big triggers. Like maybe that is dairy and or gluten. Take out a big trigger, but then focus on food diversity. Mm -hmm. And that way you're not, you're not bringing on the same foods over and over and over again and worsening or increasing that sensitivity that you have. The more important factor is if you have taken out all these food and you're still having GI issues, then something else is going on. The food is not the answer. The food is just a minimal trigger that yes, we want to take away to like press the reset button and allow your system to, to reset while we work on underlying things. That means that there's not an answer there. So that's where I then turn to stool tests and blood work and other things to be like, okay, what the heck is going on that's causing this problem? I know that's not what this Minnesota is about, right. but I need to put that in there just to emphasize that food elimination is not always the answer to why you're symptomatic. 